Hello! In this video segment, we're going to discuss how we can use Wolfram Alpha to plot wave function probability densities. So we're going to start out with a simple wave function, which you may recognize as a solution to the one-dimensional particle in a box. Our wave function is equal to the square root of 2 over a, where of course a is the length of our box, multiplied by the sine of pi x over a. So this corresponds to the lowest energy level for the particle in a box. Um, you may want to go back and review those wave functions just to make sure you understand what we're dealing with here. Now, the wave function is a probability amplitude. If we want the probability density, that is, if we want to learn what the probability is of finding a particle um, in a particular region of space, we take psi star psi, where the asterisk means that we're dealing with the complex conjugate of our wave function. Uh, but in this case, since our wave function is real, it has no imaginary components, that's just simply equal to psi squared. So we're going to have our wave function um, here, and we're just going to simply square it um, so that we can use this as a functional form that we're going to enter in the particle in a box. All right, so now we move over to Wolfram Alpha. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we're going to plot. So I'm just going to simply type plot here for that. And now I'm going to type in my wave function. Um, and what we're going to learn here as we go through this is that, of course, we can't plot something without knowing all of the variables. Um, and so in this circumstance, we're going to have to assign a value for A. But let me go ahead and type things in to begin with. So I'm going to type SQRT for square root. Um, and then I'm going to be taking the square root of 2 over A. So I'm just going to simply divide 2 by A. And I'm going to close my parentheses. And then I'm going to multiply that. And I'm putting a space here. I could add an asterisk if I wanted to just make it clear. Um, Wolfram Alpha can interpret either way. Um, so I'm going to do, then type sine in parentheses, and I type in that pi x over a. So I can just do pi x over a. Now, if you've got Wolfram Alpha Pro, you can use the keyboard uh, functionality to actually use the Greek character pi instead of typing out pi. Uh, but that's fine. So then we're going to close our parentheses here. And we're going to square it with a caret and a 2. So that means we're squaring their function. So there's our probability density. But before we go on, we have to do two things. First of all, we have to tell it what a is equal to. Um, and so we're just going to arbitrarily select a equal 1. So the length of our box is 1. And we're going to plot our function from x equals 0 to 1. Now again, that represents the limits of our box. So a is equal to 1, so the box boundaries are at x equals 0 and x equals 1, and so that's all we want to plot. So let's go back and look over this. I've got plot, I've got my wave function here, which I'm going to square, I've given an arbitrary value of a, and I'm plotting it from x equals 0 to 1, or x equals 0 to a. So we'll just click on Compute. And we'll wait a few seconds. And so there we go. First of all, Wolfram will indicate its interpretation of our what we've typed. And so this is correct wave function. It's squaring it. We're letting a be equal to 1. We're plotting from zero, x equals 0 to 1. And there is the function right there. Okay. Uh, now, again, if you've got Wolfram Alpha Pro, you could just simply download this. Um, or if you do not and you wanted to transfer this, you could do uh, <clears throat> use a snippet tool to actually cut um, or copy this particular graph. So let me show you how to do that. So I have opened up the snipping tool from Windows 10, um, which allows me to um, actually copy particular segments of a, um, a window. And so what I'm going to do is do a rectangular snip here. Um, and I'm going to select New. And then I'm just going to simply select 
the area that I'm going to snip. And there it is. All right. And so now I can take this. Um, so here is our plot. And if I wanted to, I could just simply copy this and paste it into a Word document. So I've opened up a blank Word document, and now I'm just going to simply paste into this my graph. And there you have it. So what I've done here, just to review, is taking the wave function. So let's backtrack to this. So I've taken my wave function, generate a probability density, and then I have in Wolfram Alpha typed in the probability density squared indicating a val arbitrary value for A, and I could have entered anything here, but what I want to make sure of is regardless of the value of A that I enter, that I use the same limit. So let's say I want it to be 2, then I'm going to enter the same limit for my plot just to clarify that. And again, it looks the same, it's just that the horizontal axis has a different range. Um, and then to actually copy it into a Word document, I use the Windows 10 snipping tool um, and actually just identified the region that I want to copy um, and opened up a Word document and simply pasted it into that. Um, so that's how we would do the probability density for a one-dimensional plot. Um, certainly, if you have any questions, you can ask me at a later time.